got to tell you, that little car has been amazing today. That thing has stuck to the bottom all day long. You don't get a chance to do what he done, what he's done today very many times. Some friends of ours have a suite up on the 10th floor of the hotel every race here. Kevin Mannion went by the suite the other day, told Gary Nye, we are the car to beat. And with what was without any sense of bravado, it was a simple statement of fact. White flag, White flag. one mile to go. All right, man, just going to make it back no matter what. There you go. Uh, killer lap time. How many laps has he uh, led today, Mike? 215, Daryl. 215. On a day on which NASCAR loses Bill France, Jr., another junior. Martin Truex, Jr. is going to win his first next Dell Cup race. Truex wins the Autism Speaks 400. The seventh different winner in seven races awesome. here at Dover. Yeah! <laughs> How fitting. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Perfect. Car. Car. Thank yeah. you guys. The family's in the seafood pit. Yes, they are. Fifth running of the Toyota Save Mart 350, the first of two road races annually on the Sprint Cup Series. Already events unfolding before we ever get around to starting the race. Pauly Haraka just ran into the rear end of Alex Kennedy's car. Jacques Villeneuve has already put his car on pit road, and Bobby Labonte's car was pushed back to the garage area. The field comes to the start finish line. Green flag, green flag. Green flag is in the air. We are road course racing at Sonoma. To a nice early lead is going to be Marcus Ambrose. Guys have already gotten into each other. 34 is around. Kyle Busch gets hit from behind by Juan Pablo Montoya. Come around him. Come around him. Come on. Come on. Oh, he dashed to the 18 on wheel hook like crazy. Here he comes. Looking to the inside at turn seven. New leader at Sonoma. Kurt Busch around Marcus Ambrose. The only thing better than you in front of you right now is 78. He's driving the out of it. Kurt Busch penalized. Too fast on pit road. Have to do a stop and go, they said. I don't know why, but we've got to do a stop and go. It's one of the best cars out there. Going to have to serve consecutive speeding penalties. Mark Drake Jr. leading pit road. Stop. He stalled the car. Push him, push him, push him, push him, push him. 11 turns here. So many ways to screw it up. You just got to stay on the racetrack. There's a spinner. That's David Rudeman off course coming down through the S's. Found a hell of a handbag out here. Danica Patrick in trouble. Problems for Denny Hamlin. The FedEx Toyota has spun off the racetrack. He got tagged. Okay, go with my record. They better not think we wrecked him because he can't go to the inside and try to shift lanes at the last minute to the outside. Kyle Busch is off over in the edges. Casey oh. Mears, boy, you're coming with him. That was stupid. Tony Stewart has spun. Another car is off. Jeff Burton. Oh, uh, that was stupid. Truex with a nice lead right now, 4.3 seconds over Juan Pablo Montoya. Focus on that 56, buddy. Got no pressure. Can they make it up front? They're close, man. They're saving fuel, some of them. Less than a lap to go for Martin Truex Jr. I'm out of freaking gas. Saving fuel here, man. The 42 just ran out of gas. Saving fuel. It was 2007 at Dover, the last time that Martin Truex Jr. saw a checkered flag. That's all about to change here at Sonoma Raceway. Martin Truex Jr., a winner at Sonoma. Yeah, Not bad from old Clammer from New Jersey, buddy. Good job. That's the Napa car, baby. Napa and Napa Valley. <laughs> Don't celebrate yet now. You got to get all the way around this big joint. And Harvick has cut it to a second and a half. And this joint is big. It is. Uh, and <laughs> it's a long way to go. Came off turn one one time leading the race and didn't make it back on the white flag. And he's got a clean racetrack in front of him. No traffic to deal with whatsoever. And you see that dynamic interval. That is showing you first to second at the top of the screen. Last win for Truex Sonoma, 2013. Almost two full seasons to go. Trying to become the 10th driver to win in 2015. 
Boy, he slowed it. He slowed her down getting into turn three that time. Got plenty of room between he and Kevin Harvick. And here he comes. Good job, boys. Good job. Martin Truex Jr. wins Pocono for his third Sprint Cup triumph. Yeah, man. Good job. Yeah, baby, yeah! to go sponsored by credit one bank what an incredible white flag incredible in the air race he's gonna make the 78 it. team is put together tonight but if you've watched him all season you're just wondering a mile to go will he make it no he's gonna make it tonight <laughs> don't do that mike he's, he's fine he's good he's all, he's all by himself you know what when you put yourself in this position you earn the right to go get a victory like this great great job to this team off turn four Martin Truex Jr. for single car furniture row racing wins at Charlotte. The Coca-Cola 600, his fourth career victory. He can breathe now. Yeah, I was going to say. Remember your swerve coming in. Burn out, going down to the right. Burn out, going to the right. Truex Jr. is your Coca-Cola 600 champ, and Matt Yoakum is down there for the celebration. A run for the record books, 392 laps, sled. Martin, such a dominating run, but that had to mean something more to you when you pulled down pit road and saw driver after driver, crew member after crew member, come out and congratulate you. Yeah, it did. It's uh, meant a lot to me. <laughs> it's just kind of sinking in now. You know, we won the 600, so just uh, really proud of my team. Toyota, Best Pro Shops, Tracker Boats, Furniture Road, Denver Mattress. Everybody who made, uh, made this possible believed in me and gave me this opportunity. Cole Pern, man, Jazzy, that my guys are just, uh, they're something special. So just got to thank all them. Uh, it's a big day. You know, um, got the troops on the cars, special weekend. It's uh, its really neat to bring bring that name home in uh, victory lane. So just a lot of emotion right now. I'm not real sure it's sunk in yet, but uh, just an amazing day, amazing weekend for all of us and just a uh, weekend you dream about. When you look at all the runs you've had over the past year, even here last fall, here last year in this event, Daytona 500, Texas, Kansas, did you ever think at some point, I know the other shoe is going to drop? Oh, yeah. I had confidence. I had faith. I had confidence in my team. I've got a lot of great people behind me. Sherry's, you know, she gives me a lot of inspiration, and uh, we just keep fighting. We never give up. We never quit. We always uh, just keep digging and uh, just proud of my guys for sticking behind me. The pit crews come a long way. They did a great job tonight and um, hope I'm not leaving anybody out. Sprint, the fans, thank you all. So many uh, fans that have supported us the last couple years with so many heartbreaks. So I really appreciate that and uh, just had a lot of fun racing tonight. You talk about your team here with the 78, but no more important team than this young lady right next to you. What does this win <laughs> mean to you? Because you've been there by his side, just like he's been by your side. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I keep telling him that he had to lose all those races and that God was building this character to win a big one. And this is huge for us and our hometown and our family and for Johnny and Barney. And we've been through so much. This is just the icing on the cake. It's awesome. It's so cool. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Martin Shrex Jr. The 36-year-old out of Vienna, New Jersey, down the back stretch for the final time. That's almost a second lead over Kevin Harvick. All right, clear. Looking to win the biggest race of his life as he comes back on the front stretch. Martin Truex Jr. will win the Southern 500.
Martin Truex Jr. celebrating at Darlington. This moment presented by Sunoco, fueling victories all season long. Laney with a great restart. Truex making it three wide. Fresh tires on the outside for the 78 of Martin Truex Jr. Four wide behind him, Martin Truex Jr. Sailing through turn two and down the back stretch he goes. Trying to take the lead away as they go into three. They made it past the overtime line. Martin Truex Jr. so strong early in the race, led 30 laps and has had to work his way back up front. But now he's done it out in front. White flag in the air one more time around. Chasers that are able to win a race will advance to the next round. That next round, the round of 12, Martin Truex Jr. has fought through adversity once again. His career has been fighting through adversity, and he'll win in Chicago land. Unreal, man, unreal. Remember to swerve on the track. Remember to swerve on the track. Tricks Jr. celebrating Chicago Land Speedway. He just left his car and it started rolling away as he was running to get the check. Martin Trex Jr. has to solidify his position as the favorite for the 2016 championship as he has dominated round number one and he's dominated at Dover. He'll win again. It just seems as though Martin Truex Jr., Cole Pern, click. They have figured out how to get the most speed out of these race cars. And right now, Martin Truex Jr. once again is celebrating. This time at Dover. Digging hard on the inside. Gets to the door and no closer. He's there, now he's though. coming. He's gone now. He'll get right by him. I don't know what's going on with the two, but he got a problem. Yeah, I think it's a. A power issue. Broke. I don't know what. The car just doesn't look like it has the power down the straightaways. Coming to the white flag. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. And Truex is back to the lead. Wow. You just don't know, do you? These races have become so unpredictable. What about it? He won the first two stages. Can Whoa. he win the last one? Larson for second. And here come Logano and Kyle Busch. For third. Three wide going in there to turn three. This is going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly down here, boys. Oh, and pushes around. Martin Truex is money in Las Vegas. He wins. Kyle Busch slides down the pit road, and teammates are side by side at the finish for four. The white flag waves, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Three wide. Three wide into turn one. Can they make it? Keslowski made it. Boy, I tell you, Kevin Harvick is being mighty kind to that kid in the 21 car. He cut him some slack. Out of turn number four, denied last year by a crazy part failure. He led the most laps then, he leads the most laps now. Martin Truex gets his Kansas win. Hey, totally got it. <laughs> yeah. awesome. 18 starts in Kansas. First, check the flag. Taking home the flag is Martin Truex with today's Sunoco fueling victory. From Kansas Speedway, there is Martin Truex Jr. in the 78 Toyota pulling into victory lane, the ninth career win on his eighth different track. He led the most laps, his second victory of this season.
as we welcome you to Victory Lane for the celebration. And let's head down to Victory Lane. A pair of seconds, a bunch of coulda, woulda, shouldas here. A big hug from Cole Pern. This one mean more, Martin, just because of what you've went through in the past to finally get a trophy from Kansas. Oh man, you know, I, I don't know. They're all so special, honestly. I mean, uh, these races are so hard to win. I mean, uh, any of those restarts I could have got beat on, something could have happened. You just, you just never know. So uh, just really, I'm just so proud of everybody on this team. and. You know, all of my guys, uh, Auto Owners Insurance, the first race with us this year. We won the Southern 500 with this car now here. It's just, uh, it's amazing. So just uh, just got to thank everyone, auto, everybody at Auto Owners, Furniture Row, Bass Pro, uh, Denver Mattress, Furniture Row, Tracker Boats, Wix Filters, 5-Hour Energy. Uh, it's, this is amazing. Awesome. Into the restart zone. We're in overtime. Green flag back in the air. Great job by Truex. He came with speed. He did not get too slow. That helped him not spin those rear tires. He dives to the bottom of the racetrack in front of the 18 and pulling away as the 18 moves up the track to the overtime line. They get there. Kyle Larson shoots to the bottom of the track. He moves up to second. We are in overtime, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Right, right, right. Clear White flag in the air. One more time around as they wreck behind him. Daniel Suarez is around. Matt Kenseth is around. The three of Austin Dillon in the grass. The caution has come out. It has been a perfect 10 for Martin Truex Jr., his 10th career win. It will come in Kentucky.